What's up? Want to build a hot and trendy skew up animation with Webflow and GSAP? You've come to the right place. Coming to Webflow here, in heading, I've got a custom attribute of WB data equals text. And then in the page settings, I have some custom styles right inside the head tag here. This is from my ultimate resource library to help prevent a flash of unstyled content on the page load. If you don't know what's going on here, check out some of my other videos where I explain it in detail. Down before the closing body tag, we're loading the GSAP script with, from the GSAP install page. We're loading the split type library made by Luke PV. Thank you, Luke PV, for this library. And then I'm loading a custom, uh, sorry, a code sandbox script right here called skewup.js. So let's have a look at skewup.js to see how we can build this. All right, first thing we want to do is we want to get a reference to the text element, which we're going to use document.query selector and pass our custom attribute to wb data equals text. Next, we're going to define a variable called split text, which is going to be an instance of the split type library. To that, we're going to pass our text element and then just a little object here that defines some options. The only thing we want to split our type on is lines. We don't want to split it into characters or words. Now, I'm going to call gsap.set on the text element. I'm going to set our auto alpha property to one. This is a specific property that pretty much works just like opacity, but also changes the uh, visibility of something to inherit from its parent. So I have more about that within the ultimate resource library if you want to read up on how auto alpha works. Next, we're going to call gsap.from. So we're creating a from animation. We want to animate from these properties to what we have already specified in Webflow as the default properties. The first thing this takes is a target, and we want to target split text.lines, so each individual line of our text. It's also, we're going to specify an empty object here, and this is going to be the properties that we're going to animate. The first thing we want to do is we want to animate from a Y position of 100%. This is 100% of the height of the object itself. So it's going to come in just basically its entire height and then come back up to its zero position. Next, we're going to call this skew X. Sorry, we're not going to call it. Uh, we're going to define the skew X property from negative 15. It's going to come to zero. We're going to animate auto alpha from zero. Again, we're animating to this number one of auto alpha. And we're going to call stagger between each line of 0.15 seconds. And then we're going to define an easing function of xball.out. Now, this is probably enough for this animation, but I'm also going to add a repeat of negative one to make it happen infinitely. And I'm going to add a delay of 0.5 seconds just so that we can review the animation a couple times. So let's go ahead and save that and refresh. And we see our animation happening over and over again. If you have an animation like this happen later on the page, you're going to want to look at using GSAP scroll trigger to make it happen as you scroll into it. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if this helped. And I'll drop a link to the ultimate resource library in the description below. All right, bye. Yeah.